All right. Hope you're having a good time. So in this video, I'd like to discuss two mallet vibraphone technique, all the little ins and outs, things you need to watch out for, techniques. So let's get into it. The first thing that we need to discuss is how our body is supposed to be aligned to the instrument. The first thing we want to make sure is that our legs are spread out with the back leg at an angle. It doesn't matter if it's the right foot or the left foot in front. I'm keeping mine on the left in front. The second thing we want to make sure is that our weight is distributed mostly towards the back of the leg. Now we do this because we want to be able to shift our body weight and so that our arms can move independently. And we also want to make sure that we're not leaning over the instrument. It hurts your back and it also limits your movement and your vision. With two mallet technique, we want to first get our hand and get the mallet, place it on the second segment of the first finger down by about an inch to inch and a half above the wrist. So our fingers are gonna wrap around and they're basically gonna rest like above the segments of the fingers. Now our fulcrum, our gripping point, is gonna be these three fingers right here. Middle finger, thumb, and index finger. Index finger is gonna be kind of out on its own little thing over here pointing down. And the rest of the fingers are wrapped around comfortably around the shaft. Now we want to make sure that we have about an inch to inch and a half, or pardon me, inch and a half to two inches of the shaft sticking out the back. We don't want too much and we don't want too little. Now our strokes are going to be generated from the wrist, not the arm, not the fingers. Let's talk about mallet dancing. So there's two simultaneous and independent actions going on with mallet dampening. The first is initial note strike, and then simultaneously muting the note you just struck while striking the next note you're going to play. Now what's actually going on with the muting hand is that we're going to take the top of the mallet, push it onto the node where the strings are running across the bars, push down, and push up towards the middle of the bar. And this is happening at the exact same time that you're striking the next note, like so. Some things to watch out for. You want to make sure that, first off, you're not doing kind of this scoopy thing like this. you don't want to do that is because you want to maintain the independence of both the mounts. You don't want them to be dependent on one doing the other. And another thing is to make sure that you're not muting the note before you strike the next note like this. The next line of discussion is going to be pedal dampening. Now we want to make sure with pedal dampening that we're muting the notes at the exact same time that we're playing the next notes. Want to make sure you're not doing it too early. And not too late either. get the legato quality of the tween notes and too late we don't get the proper resonance that we're looking for. Let's do a little improvisation just to get the things that we learned today. 